morning lamps. It's been raining pretty hard so and it's still raining, it's forecast to be raining all day so rain gear on but I don't think there's got to be much filming today because it's going to be it's going to be a wet one bags all packed in here rain gears on so just drop the tent chuck it in the side and away we go we're um I'm just going to push on now and hopefully get to Ullapool where I've, I've booked a and b in Ullapool where I can uh, I can hopefully charge my batteries and and charge myself and sleep in an actual bed so that'll be good that's something to that's what i'm aiming for other pool because that's i think that's considered the sort of halfway mark anyway i'll strap my antlers on <laughs> i can't film this because as soon as i get out of here it's pissing it down a bit so i'm away let's crack on with the day and see what today brings here we have a, a horse chestnut which is a uh, you can make a natural soap out of this, which I'm going to do just to wash the old armpits and that. Uh, I'll pop that in my bag and somewhere along the line we'll make some soap with it and I'll wash myself with it. Mother Nature. Mother Nature supplying the goods again. Cheers, mush. Right, I got chatting to, uh, to be, and I'm going to be honest with you, uh, this morning I felt like shit. I packed all my stuff away, but it was, it was pissing it down. And it was, the first time, it was, it was cold and it was windy. I was like, oh, mate. And then I, st I started to walk and my, just my calves and my ankles, all the, like, little bits and all my niggles were just, you know, prime. They were killing me, so I grabbed a coffee and a butty from the garage and just sat in this outdoor bit. And uh, this old couple in the 70s got chatting to them, and they were lovely, they were inspirational. And the old guy, he'd done a I think it was a 50k or 50 mile race when he was 72, and uh, they left and said good luck and it just it empowered me it absolutely empowered me so not that they'll ever see this but thank you very much to that couple who I had a little chat with very inspirational and it's put a little spring in my step so even though the weather's going to be against me today I feel good and we're going to have a good day Head down, ass up, let's just get on with it. I went wrong way. Took the wrong bridge. Just oblivious, listening to my podcast, just like, head down, come on. <laughs> went wrong way. It wasn't until I got down that road, I was like, hold on a minute, something's not quite right. Oh. Quick check at map. Oh. I mean, it's not it's not a lot, it's not massive amounts, but any little bit when you're doing this, it's a, you just kick yourself in the... So anyway, I'm consoling myself with a, a Eat Nature Bar. I'm sitting down there. Not even checking my bag off. Not even checking my bag off, mate. Too unhappy. <laughs> I knew today it was going to be a struggle, mate. It's getting me down. I'm struggling. A bit. Oh well. I'll eat this and then I'll uh, I'll get back on track. But my camera's getting wet, so I'll have to I'll have to be gone. See you later. She's turned on me. Brutal day today. <laughs> That's what I wanted though. When I self I thought oh, it's gonna be brutal, I want it to be I don't want it always to be sideways rain and wind and all that but 
got to have a bit of brutality to make you appreciate it when it's not brutality anyway the 4x4 track has now turned into a single track which I'm just going to follow all the way to the uh, a lock I forget its name and uh, I might think about if it looks nice and there's a nice place to pitch I'm going to turn this day into quite an easy day and pitch by the lock and then tomorrow it's forecast to be less miserable well I don't say miserable because weather's only a matter of opinion it's forecast to be less wet and windy tomorrow so I'll do the long day tomorrow to get myself to Ullapool that's my plan anyway but you know things can go things can change pretty quick up in the highlands so we'll, we'll stick to that for now and we'll plod on There's the lock. We'll have to bring the delta pegs out if we're camping up here today. Because, I mean, this is a bit of a, a chilled spell, but there's been some serious winds and sideways rain. I'm going to go and have a look down there anyway. Right, I'm at the side of the lock, but I got, I got here and then... Um, well, look at my feet, mate. Ugh. Oh dear. So I got to the side of the lock in the rain. I mean, it's still raining now, but it was just torrential and the winds were just. <sighs> Something else. And um, and I couldn't see the tops because, uh, because of how foggy it was. Yeah, and I got this thing off Amazon to put my phone in, which I'm using as a GPS. I thought, oh, that'd be good. Then I can wear it around my neck uh, and use it like this. But it's either leaked or with condensation in it or something and so the buttons weren't working so I couldn't even even couldn't even lock it it's all there it's all like stuck to the phone so I couldn't even unlock it to see which way I had to go I was like hey up mate this is it this is real because my map is sort of tucked inside right down in there and I'd have had to fumble it all out and you know it was a bit a bit windy for that so I made the executive decision to to pitch up here, just get out at rain. Um, <laughs> nightmare pitching up in this weather, but I was just on my way here. I was thinking, ah, these delta pegs have been uh, surplus to requirement. Am I glad I've got delta pegs in now? <laughs> I don't feel as confident. I mean, this scent has been brilliant, but. Oh, like thinking about spending a night up in mountains in um I don't know what the weather's gonna do. I thought I'd feel a lot safer in Mihiliburg, let me tell you that. <laughs> oh. Well I didn't want it all my own way. Oh. And I've not got it all my own way. My feet are in tatters man. Look at blisters on them. Yeah oh, well. Character building. Character building. I shouldn't have. Well, I've got these antlers, and at least, at least I've got my antlers. Folding wigwam in on this side. I've set it up so that the, the brunt of the wind hits the back of it and goes over the top instead of it in the doors. But when it does it, it <laughs> folds it over onto my face like that. Go on, do it. It's a bit nerve wracking, mate. I'll be honest with you. I'm like, well, what's me? My contingency, if it really does kick off, or if tent goes, if tent shits it, I'm not going to die. I'm not like on the edge of a cliff or anything, but I am up in the mountains. Um, if my tent shits it, I'll have to just bail on it. Everything in bag. What I'm going to do is put my map, my paper map in my waterproof waterproof case on the right page so if it does keck it in the night torch on i've got my high powered torch i've got my map so i'll either push on or more than likely i'll retrace my steps and then come at it again well i won't be able to come at it again would i because the tent will be KO'd but hopefully it won't get to that i'm hoping it uh, i'm hoping it survives if I keep tightening the guy lines and keep it, keep it, uh, keep it all taut, it should be okay. 
I'm just using my Garmin Mini InReach Mini with the app just to message um, just to message just to message loved ones just to say I'm all right uh, it sends the location so I've sent my location just said I'm uh, I'm battening down the hatches for today and this is where I am another good thing about this is you can at the cost of one of your messages you can um, you can request the weather forecast which I have done and it doesn't look good the wind isn't so bad the wind might it says the wind the wind isn't so bad but it's going to be pissing it down and all day tomorrow as well I thought it was going to be okay tomorrow which is one of the reasons why I've hunkered down it's three o'clock and I was I was tempted to I was thinking shall I just up sticks and just grin and bear it so I'm gonna have to bear it at some point what I'm gonna do is just read my maps and make a decision I probably won't because at least I know this is a flat bit of ground and I've got my um, yeah in fact I'm staying here what am I on about I've got my delta pegs in proper I might I might not find anywhere as secure as this I keep getting the kids been mad gusts of wind and I'm like <laughs> uh, for some reason, I don't know why. Like, if I was in Lady Street, it was doing that. I'd be like, alright, fair enough. But because I'm in the Highlands, and I know I'm miles away from anywhere, you have to respect it. And uh, with that respect comes a little bit of fear. Uh, you know, because you're at the you're at the you're at the mercy of Mother Nature, and she can be a a heartless. <laughs> A heartless wonder at times anyway. I'm leaving myself a lot to do tomorrow to get to Ullapool for the B&B. It's going to be like uh, 30k. It's going to be a big day. And my dilemma is it's half free now so I could pack all this up and be away at four and get maybe four hours of daylight, four hours of hiking in. But am I going to get over that? There's no path. In four hours, am I going to get over there and up to this bit, which is, I think, is the only bit that I could potentially camp at? If I do go for it, I'm not going to bother filming. I'm just going to pack up and we're going to hightail it out of here. I'm away. <laughs> I've uh, I've done my calculations. Oh, I've done my calculations, and um, oh, look how beautiful that is, though. Shame not to wake up there, but the weather is terrible. There's just been a little bit of a break in the rain, so I thought, right, let's just do it. Put four hours in, because otherwise, tomorrow it didn't look like, once I'd worked out the mileage on the actual Harvey map, um, it would end up being a ridiculously long day with a chance of me even not making it. Uh, what was worrying me was that the cloud had dropped so the visibility was terrible and the wind and rain had picked up and this next section is all uh, there's no paths or anything so I was just a little bit worried so I thought I'd sit it out and tackle it tomorrow because the weather was supposed to be good but I've checked on my uh, Garmin I got sent a weather report and it's going to be shitty tomorrow as well so I weighed everything up and thought right four o'clock Let's bat on for, let's give it four hours and see if we can um, just get find somewhere else to camp in four hours. So I'm gonna have to take on all this. I don't know how much filming I'll be doing because my priority is obviously my safety over making a film. So I need to be focused on my maps and, uh, and what's in front of me. Ah. Right, I've come over at tops. I'm glad I did that today because I thought of doing that tomorrow. There's snow just here, the temperatures are a lot colder up here, obviously. Now, there's all this, as soon as I step out here, it is really, really windy. 
so it's not going to be the the most even of pitches and it's a bit might be a bit boggy but this not this like this hill here if i took myself in to here it protects me pretty well from the wind so i mean it's going to be a bumpy one but it doesn't matter the ground's pretty soft i've got my air bed uh yeah home for the night there we go look yeah home is where i lay my antlers as i've always said and look at this clouds coming over the hill and i'm just in this little delve man and it is you're still getting the wind but it's nothing you put your head out out at uh, parapet and you're uh, you certainly know about it there she is look nestled nestled dormer so i've got the uh Delta pegs, which I was thinking I'm not going to bring the. I, I, I was regretting bringing them, but now, absolutely, I feel so much safer with them. And for the rest of it, that's enabled me to double up my peg. So, peg in, and then another peg through, uh, through the loop at the end, belt and breeches, and then I've put it to the almost to the ground. It'll get enough air flu, uh, through it with it being so windy, uh, but I just don't want it taking off. I've got a water source there, running down. Ah oh, man, that was that was tough. That was a tough gig. So I'm gonna get out of all my wet gear. I oh, just rest my feet, man. What time are we on? Quarter past six. Let's get rested. Get some tea on. My first foray into the fire pot world, and it is um. An orzo pasta bolognese. It's nice and warm and I'm looking forward to it immensely. Oh, dear me. Is one ain't, one ain't gonna be enough? Oh my God. My mouth's watering. My down pants are the truth. These were my my thin Alclimar merino wool leggings are the perfect combination. Um, just shout out Nordic Outdoors. Nordic Outdoors came through for me. I'm gonna do a proper video for them, but, oh man. A couple of days before I set off as well, or the day before I set off, they came good for, with um, my leggings and stuff, but more about that later. Well, this looks nice. My mouth's watering. I'm so looking forward to it. If someone took this away from me now, I'd go, I would literally, I'd implode. Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh man, yeah. I think the thing is, when you've been hiking all day in rough terrain, you're so hungry. It could be out, couldn't it? It could be dog food or whatever. Just warm food is good. But, yeah. I like this. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, did that, didn't I? Tomorrow night's tea. What I've been thinking about quite a lot today is gonna be fish and chips, hopefully. If I get to Ullapool in time, <coughs> in time, we're going to be having some whale and tea for my tea. Right, today was a right one. So yesterday I made a decision. I made the wrong decision and went the wrong way. Today I accidentally went the wrong way. So it's costing me a little bit. It's Kevin clustering me a little bit. A decent day's hike tomorrow, but I'll have a spring in my step because I'll be heading towards a bed and some hopefully some fish and chips. <laughs> we'll have a look at the map and see what we did today. Let's have a quick look at Mappy Gilmore. Where did I? There. That's where I woke up. And spoke to a lovely old couple here. My heroes. Head off up here. It was. The weather wasn't great. I kept going up here. And I was just. I looked at my map here and I was like, right, there's a bridge up ahead and that's what I'll be crossing, so. And I just kept going, and this was a bridge, so I hit that bridge, and just, this, it, 
this is all part of the same path. This is like a this little offshoot. It is a it looks different. So I was like, right, this must be the must be it. Didn't pay it much mind. And off I was off, mate. <laughs> Absolutely furious with myself, calling myself all sorts, man. I was like, oh, yeah. So anyway, I had to come all the way back here, disheartened. My tail between my tits, and then up here, up and up. It's just a, it's a path. It's a, it's a. It was like a a track, and it led like a two wheel track here and then it just leads to a single track and it's just it's it's just hard going because it's just there's a lot of stones and stuff you can't really get a rhythm going anyway I cut through here and then the weather just changed started to piss it down it was really windy and I could see the the uh, clouds coming down off the top so I was like oh my god so I walked down this track and there's a nice bit of grass and I set the tent up Delta pegs the lot and then got in it. Uh, it was too early in the day and having sat there for a while, the weather chilled a bit. I got a chance to have a look at my maps properly, uh, switch a few, put a, you know, switch a few things around, and uh, gather my thoughts. And I was like, right, okay, we'll make a push for it. And then all of here is just pathless. Uh, I had a couple of slips here where I was proper stacked it on my ass. One where I was up to my knees in the bog. Just brutal. Sideways rain. Lovely views back over this way, don't, don't get me wrong. Stunning, but really difficult uh, terrain all the way over here. Yeah, and then I dropped down. Started, well, no, I just started to traverse around here. And then... As I came down here, the wind coming through this valley, it was just ridiculous. So, as I got to about... Actually, I didn't follow that path. I've come round here, look. I've come round. And I'm just tucked in a nice little delve, delve boy, behind this hill, tucked away from wind. And as soon as I walk, like I get out and I walk that way, just a few metres, it's just the wind is brutal, so... I'm really happy, really happy that I left that other camp spot and I'm really happy where, with where I am. Whew. I'm just waiting for a little break in the rain and then I'm out, everything's away. It's 10 past seven. I'm gonna put a shift in today to make sure I get to other pool in good time. It's easing up. It was raining all night and the condensation was pretty bad um, because I dropped the tent, as you can see to the right. I dropped the tent so low, so that the outer's pretty much touching the floor all the way around. Because I thought I was in for a, I thought I was in for a bit of a windy one. But this place that I'd got next to this hill is just so still, no wind at all. So there's a knock-on effect. You do get a little bit of condensation because there's not enough air getting through, but. What I do is, I mean, I've already done this this morning. Is I use my sponge, give it a once over everywhere, and then and just drain her out. Well, that's fine. Some mad noises last night. I couldn't figure out what it was. It was somewhat flying around the tent. But it was night time, so what would it have been? I thought, oh, maybe it's a bat. What the bat's noise is? It was like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not electrical. It was the maddest noise, like a fan. Like... I don't know what it was. Who knows? Right, we've got a break in the rain, so... <laughs> ah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Morning glampers, BTW. Get me totem poles. It's going to be a wet day today, which is, you know, it's what I've expected. It's what I've packed for. It's what I've planned for. It's how I'm, you know, now I'm all waterproofed up again and tents dried as best as it can be, and I'm away. Because that's what you've got to prepare for when you come into Scotland. Is do, you know, if you come to Scotland for a week, prepare for a week of rain and expect it. So there's a little burn here that's just coming off the top, so I'm 
I'm going to fill both my water bottles on water bottles on the, in this burn. I'm not even going to filter it because it's uh, we're pretty high up and we've got a long day, so let's get hydrated. There we are. Look, ideal little spot. I've been putting wet clothes, wet socks and shoes on every day now. So I'm no stranger to that. <laughs> Come on. Ice cold on digital it. I'll tell you what as well. I got some water from the tap at the campsite yesterday and it, you could taste the chemicals in it. I got used to the used to me Highland spring water. Right, that's water sorted. I'm gonna make my way down here and along the side of this lock. Oh, the weather's coming in, so I better pop you in your waterproof cabinet. Look at that little bit of blue. Little bit of blue sky, mate. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I've run out of snacks. I don't have any little sort of trail snacks. Uh, and I can't be bothered to cook up a full meal just yet. I don't think I need it. So I've just got them fish, that fish and chips is in my brain, keeping me going. Uh, and there's a shop there as well, so I can get some sweeties. <laughs> I get some sweeties. The simple thing. I mean, I'm gonna cry because I'm gonna cry thinking about having a Mars bar, man. Ugh. <laughs> man, I wonder how much of this shit is just not being explored. I bet. There must be little caves and waterfalls and stuff that people haven't been to. It's just vast, man. I'm hurting, I'm hurting. The sun's come out. Look at that. Oh, my fingers were struggling today with the cold a bit. But <laughs> the sun's come up above, above this, oh, it's gone back cloud now, but it just came and it hit me. I was like, whoa, that is nice. Steep climb coming up. We're going to follow this single track, and I don't know if you can see in the distance, you probably can't on here. There's like a, a windy track all the way up there. That's where we're heading. Oh, hopefully. Because it's a 4x4 four four track it'll be um it won't be so hard walking like all the way down here. You look up map and you're like that's fine, it's a few few K. But it's like that and there's bog and there's stones and there's all sorts of stuff so you can't really you've got to it's almost tiring because it takes all of your attention. So although that is steep, if it's a 4x4 four four track and easy going, I'm happy with that. Cause you can just chuck an audio book on and, and get to the top mate. It's quite nice. Nice change of pace. I've come through this valley here. Yeah. And then I'm off up <laughs> into the clouds. The normal path takes you around here to a bothy next to this lock. But I'm not going that way, I'm going over at tops on this track. It's pretty steep, mind. Shit all. And now it's hailstoning. Don't know if you can see. 
Het is heel stil nu. Right, let's get uh, let's get rainproof gear back on, I guess. Hail stands, mate. Look at this, man. There's all sorts of cows. I've just seen a a beware of the bull sign, but you have to give these guys a wide berth because. They've got kids with them. Calves. I think you call them. They've got calves with them. And... Uh, although... You know... Although I don't mind... Spinning back fist in... An adult... And felling it in one foul swoop I wouldn't I wouldn't want to leave the calves without a mother and father so hopefully they're gonna give me I mean I'm giving them a wide berth for their own good that's what I'm trying to say that's it I, I took a while saying that because not that I was nervous because <laughs> I don't get nervous because I don't know if I mentioned but I'm not a civilian. Well, I'm a civilian now, but I wasn't a civilian for nine years. I was, uh, I was in the Power Rangers for nine years. Uh, I served, I served in the Power Rangers for nine years. Look, I've bossed that, and I got done you, lads. I've done you. I've absolutely done you. <laughs> uh, oh well, anyway, that was a bit of fun. Not been doing much filming because it's just I mean the weather's just been atrocious. It's, yeah, I have everything. It's, we've had hailstones, rain, wind, now it's nice. Uh, so for a lot of it it's just head down and just crack on. And over this uh, this track has just been you just can't get a good flow going because it's uh your ankles keep going off her. I guess one of the things that's good about hiking boots is that ankle support if you strap them up tight. But, no, I'm waffling. This is boring, isn't it? I'm boring myself. Look at this. Oh, oh my God. Look at the latch and lock on that thing. The wheel of doom. That's pretty cool. That's for just holding them steady while they do stuff like chop the nads off or whatever. Damn. Ooh. Nice and deep in there. So we've come over the top of these mountains and sort of followed this tree line down hit a road, gone along the road and now making our way back back up it's now oh, 25 past 12 and um, yeah I've not eaten today so I'm going to hold off I'm going to wait till we get some fish and chips and I'm going to wolf it thought this stretch would be easy in fact just if you think any stretch is going to be easy, just forget it. It's the Cape Raft Trail, isn't it? I'm not just popping to the garage for a pint of milk. This is the real deal. It's not easy. It's up and it's down and it's boggy and it's stony. And uh, I reckon I'll go for another hour. Ooh, I'll go for another hour. And if I don't get, I'll have a look at the map. If I'm nowhere near, I'm going to have to have one of my meals. Otherwise, dig deep and just fish and chips twice with scraps love cheers when in rome <laughs> yes right i woke up here nestled behind this 
little hill. Packed up, filled my water up, and set off along here. It was a cold one. My hands were freezing. And it's up and down, it's boggy, you know, it's, <laughs> it's the same story. Um, it's real nice, these views up here to these, the mountains are nice. And keep going. And then there's a couple of river crossings down here, nothing too major. I imagine they do get pretty, pretty heavy when it's in spate, but... Uh, anyway, you, you, you've got two options here, you can go along here and keep at the bothy. I didn't do that. I went over the top. This bit's well steep. Yeah, this bit's really, it's, it's, it's a track but it's really steep. Coming up here, coming up here. And then I got a lovely view down the valley. There was a rainbow. I watched the like, I watched the rain just falling in the distance. That was one of the best, the best things I've seen so far on this trip. Um, keep going up over the top. It's pretty easy going. Obviously you just, like with everything, it's just, it's, it's a little slower than it would be because of the stones and the, the water and stuff. You've got to keep your wits about you. Get over here and then you start going down. It's pretty steep on its way down. Killer on the knee. Through this wood, past some cows and then you hit this road. But it's okay because there's a verge on the side of the road. Up the road, through this little property here uh, it's, it, and then you have to check your map here just to see which which is the right way to go I got I got on the path and it was fine up over the top up here and then it's again it's pretty much it's all the same you're pretty exposed up here um, and you're gonna be getting wet feet and there's some tricky stone bits and as you go, I started to get really tired coming down this end bit here. My knee was going, ankles were hurting, and it is very steep. And often going down is harder than going up for me. Down here, I messed this bit up here. I didn't know what was going on, so I ended up going, <laughs> getting to here. I ended up sort of going in here, round and through this field. Um, and then phoned the number for the taxi and got the taxi to Ullapool. And that's it man, fish and chips and a bed for the night.